Hi, I'm Alice Choi. As a food blogger, I'm here at the grocery store at least three times a week, sometimes more. And I get questions all the time about the types of meat and poultry that I'm buying. So today, we're gonna to be meeting with registered dietitian, Jen Haugen, and she's gonna help us navigate through all the choices we have in the meat aisle. Hi, Alice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I've picked out these meat and poultry products. Can you help explain what some of these labels mean? I can definitely do that because I know as a mom too, it's kind of confusing when you walk through the meat aisle. So let's take a look at what you have. So you have some ground chicken and you have some chicken breasts and they both say something about antibiotics. The ground chicken says raised without antibiotics and the chicken breast says no antibiotics ever. So I think the important thing to know is all of the poultry and all of the meat in the grocery store does not have antibiotics in it. So this package doesn't have any claims about antibiotics, mm -hmm. but we can still be ensured that there is no antibiotics in this product. And how we know that is that there's lots of regulations in place so that even if a farm chooses to use antibiotics in their animals, mm -hmm. there's actually a waiting period before that animal can go to market. Well, what about this one? This one says 100% all natural. So 100% all natural wording on a label isn't necessarily verified. Mm -hmm. So what that tends to mean though, is that it's minimally processed and doesn't have any artificial ingredients in it. And then you have something like organic, which this is from a farm right. that chooses to raise their animals in an organic way, which means that they don't use any antibiotics in the animals that they raise. So all of these choices in your cart are really good choices. It really just depends on your personal preference, but know that all of these are safe for our families to eat. So Jen, what role does food preparation play in all of this? So there are four keys to food safety to keep our food safe and keep our families safe. So the first one would be washing your hands. The second one is separating raw and cooked meat. The third one is to cook your meats to the proper temperature. And then the fourth one is to make sure you refrigerate your leftovers promptly.